we have almost reached our goal of showing you the complete package that is our 10-hour certification program. Our last area is the assessment strategy, our games and tests, in this particular video overview. As we walk through that door, we see we are back into our Blackboard shell, and we are about to enter our module that covers the game related to tests modules two and three. So these interactive games, these assessment strategies, are utilized in the 10-hour certification program to satisfy the career and technical education as well as the the learning principles. The program uses both formative and summative assessments and the aim to create an authentic evaluation environment. While the goal of assessment is naturally to gauge the quality of learning, the strategy also keeps forefront the need for learner motivation and achievement. Thus, intermingling with the overall course content, there are three game-based self-test options that allow unlimited practice with the new knowledge and skills. These fun and interactive evaluations options provide, in an automated feature, feedback to the learner on progress made and help to maintain continuous engagement and motivation. This module shows the Build Your Own Fortune interaction game. Upon completion of the eight topic modules, the learner is progressively guided towards the final assessment test, which represents the final course evaluation. To help learners be successful in this self-paced online course module. Module 9 was built as a practice version of Module 10. It helps prepare the learners for that final test. Both tests are built from the same two sets of question pools, one containing some mandatory questions and another containing a set of randomized questions. There are five mandatory questions and ten random select questions for each test for a total of 15 test questions. Let's take a look at one of those test questions. There's a variety of styles of test questions. We have graphic goal test questions, general knowledge test questions, We have test questions where you have to click on an area of the image in order to get the correct answer. Some of the test questions use some of the graphics that are used inside of the actual learning content in order to tie back to their information. This particular question allows, asks them to click on a particular section of the learning cycle that best with, fits with a particular strategy. The learner is successful if they complete the test with a minimum of 90% score. The tests are set up within the one hour limit. The module nine practice test is set up to allow unlimited attempts, while the final test only allows one attempt. This approach allows individual learners to practice and get ready for the final tests at their own pace, while also assures that the final knowledge is evaluated in a consistent manner between learners. The practice test in Module 9, along with the game-based self-tests, are formative assessments, while Module 10 
in its final test are the final summative assessment of the program. Upon, completion, upon successful completion of the final test in Module 10, the Certificate of Achievement will open and can be printed to serve as a record of meeting the course competencies. So that certificate can be printed and shows mastery of the course. Thank you for taking the time to explore our 10-hour certification program.